Hi there, in this tutorial we're going to create a PhoneGap project from CLI or the command line interface. The assumption is you've got a PhoneGap installed as well as Cordova. So here's what our final thing is going to look like. It's going to be running through the simulator and what we're going to do is we're going to be launching terminal. If you haven't already launched it, just launch terminal. I'm going to put this aside for now and we're going to run a few commands. First of all, let's find out where we are. Just type in PWD and great, we're on the desktop. So step number one is done. So what we want to create is a, is a directory and we'll call that directory uh, test app. How about that? MKDIR, make directory test app. Fantastic. So let's take a look at it. And there it is, test app. Now to create an app, we have to type in phone gap and we have to say create test app so we're entering the directory there and then we're going to give it the ID and the ID is similar to a mobile provisioning profile or app ID so we'll call it uh, com dot um, well I'm going to J today for me test app and then we're going to give the app a name and let's give it a nice creative name and we'll say my test app. That's pretty creative, right? And I'm going to press return. And there's our directory right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this smaller so we could see what's going on. Move that over a bit more still. There we go. So stuff's being made. See that? So now we have our project right there. All these files in here. We have our config file. So, so far so good. Now the next step is we want to add a platform. Now it could be Android, but in our case it's going to be iOS. So to add a platform, what we need to do is we need to go into that directory. And let's make sure we know where we are. Okay, we're still at the top there. And let's go over to test app. So we're now in the directory. Now we can add the platform. So we're going to say Cordova. Please add the platform or Cordova platform. Add iOS. Enter. Now watch this. Look over here where my mouse is. It's going to start generating stuff. It's pretty cool, really. Any time now. There we go. Adding iOS project. Bit of a delay there. Oh, there it goes. And there's my test app. Still going. Cordova. There we go. So far, so good. And files are being added. So you could sort of see it's dynamically adding all this stuff while on the left side things are happening. It's adding all the plugins as well. So this one here is actually an Xcode project so you know. So if we open it up a bit we'll be able to see it. Open it up just a bit. There we go. So that's our Xcode project right there. And later on we can double click it and be able to compile it and get it ready for the App Store. But for now we just want to get it over to the simulator. So, so far so good. Now once this is done what we're going to do is we're going to build out the iOS. Build, build, build it out using Cordova build iOS. There we go. It's done. So we have all these new files. We have our iOS project and then we call upon Cordova build iOS. Now this one takes a bit longer and what we could do we could run it right through. We can wait or you can just go grab a juice or a coffee or whatever it is you want 
and come back to it later on. I'm just going to let it run through. Effectively, you can just fast forward to the next scene, which is basically building out the building it out to the simulator, and we're going to be using emulation. We're going to say something to the effect Cordova emulate iOS. But what we're going to do is do something a bit different. We're going to build it out to um, a target uh, iOS, target target iPhone. Um, let's say target five iPhone 5s something like that first times always it always takes a long time awesome build succeeded wow that took a while okay now I'm gonna go Cordova and I want to emulate iOS but then I want to add a target because I want a particular iPhone. So iPhone, I don't know, we said 5S, right? 5S and press enter. And what this will do is it'll launch the simulator, what we saw earlier. And again, it's going to do stuff. There we go. Build succeeded. Fantastic. I'm just going to pause it for a bit. I'm going to see if I can call up the simulator. And there's the simulator right there. That's still doing some stuff right there. There we go. Excellent. There's some information right there. and it's running. So that's how you build it. So the first thing we did was to create the project we created the directory we then used the phone gap create and then we went into the directory that we just created and we ran Cordova platform at iOS after that we built it Cordova build iOS and then this one here Cordova emulate iOS and using the uh, target uh, target flag uh, iPhone-5S.